New tonight, the San Diego City Council has just approved the use of smart street lights following some fierce debate. CBS 8's Shannon Handy was at today's City Council meeting. She joins us live from City Hall with the very latest. Shannon. Yeah, Carlo and Jesse, that vote came down just about 20 minutes ago. The council voted to approve the use of street light cameras and license plate readers after about four hours of discussion. And that included 50 people who signed up to speak in person as well as another 30 online. Take a listen. I am against the street lights because they're going to impact black, brown, and poor communities far more than they're gonna impact um, white communities or wealthy communities. No amount of police can be it in all place at all times, but the smart streets lights can be. We heard from people on both sides of the issue. Those in opposition say the cameras violate their privacy and they're worried how the information will be used. Now, those in favor did include relatives of murder victims who say cameras help solve those crimes. San Diego once had 3,000 active streetlight cameras, which the police department used to help solve crimes. But in 2020, the city cut off access to them without a warrant over privacy concerns. Now, fast forward to today amidst an officer shortage, San Diego police want to have open access to 500 cameras, which will also act as license plate readers. Since the old cameras were not well maintained, new ones would have to be installed at an estimated cost of $4 million. As part of a new city ordinance, it's required SDPD undergo a lengthy process in order to get approval. That includes having the Privacy Advisory Board, a group of appointed community members, review the proposal, which members have not signed off on, in part because they say the technology for these cameras has not been properly tested. San Diego police maintain the cameras will be used as a tool during investigations not to invade people's privacy. They say any video not accessed for investigative purposes will be overwritten after 15 days and not downloaded or archived. Ultimately, the council voted twice, approving the cameras in a vote of seven to two and then approving the license plate readers in a vote of six to three, saying changes can be made before implementing their use. We're here because we want to make San Diego safer and more secure for everyone. And cameras in high traffic public areas can help prevent crimes and solve them. I and the cameras would be paid for using money from the general fund as well as money from grants. Uh, meanwhile, San Diego would be the first city to use this joint technology where you have streetlight cameras that also act as license plate readers. No word yet on no word yet that is on when these cameras will be installed, but something that was a big part of the discussion today, the council said we will approve the use of these cameras, but we want to come back to the drawing board before implementation in case there are any other issues that arise. They say they will address those issues and make changes to this camera program if needed. So we, of course, will stay on top of that and keep you updated with the very latest. But that is the latest from City Hall. Again, the City Council has approved the use of these cameras. When they will be in use is undetermined. Back to you.